Decred is a layer one cryptocurrency pushing the boundaries of stakeholder-based governance. Decred coin holders who choose to stake their coins have direct voting rights on consensus changes, the direction of the project by approving proposals, and how to spend Decred's treasury which comes from its own block reward. Today we'll be diving into development updates and what the Decred community has been up to. We will start with the Cake Wallet integration. Cake Wallet is an open source, self-custodial multi-asset wallet for XMR, BTC, LTC, and many more, running on Android, iOS, macOS, and Linux. A few Decred screens were added as a proof of concept, and a working Android build was achieved. Initial Decred screens were merged in the staging fork to create a shared baseline to start developing. The Decred DAO's treasury spend to pay contractors worth 120,000 US dollars, or 8,500 Decred, was paid out with 99.9% .9 voter approval. This was for two months of work. These T spends must be approved by Decred stakeholders, and this is the only way to spend from the Decred treasury. These rules are enforced by opcodes programmed into the protocol. This means treasury funds cannot be stolen like what happens to, say, a standard crypto hot wallet. DCRDEX is a non-custodial, privacy-respecting exchange for trustless trading powered by atomic swaps. Developers added a workaround for DCRDEX windows not loading into Crediton. For the client, added the ability to reset a forgotten app password using app seed, and added browser or desktop notifications for events like order changes, bonds, or server connectivity issues. For account reputation, bonds, and trading limits, reworked calculations of account tier, the concept of bonus tiers has been removed. The server will now send more updates for score changes. Reworked trading limits to fix unreasonably low limits on some markets with low transaction fees. Exposed more bond information on settings UI, such as current and target account tiers, and amount locked in bonds. For Decred, fixed a wallet bug where a transaction may never be marked as confirmed if the wallet is shut down at the wrong time. Added live UI updates for staking statistics and ticket price. Updated the balances of Decred SPV wallets when new unmined transactions are detected in the mempool. For Bitcoin, added support to public chain data providers. And for Ethereum, added local storage of Ethereum's wallet's transaction history. Other changes include updating the load bot to start with market rate based on coin's real market price. This is part of the market maker testing framework and storing completed candles in the database. DCRDEX developer Buck tweeted, market making and arbitrage bots and small minimum trades are coming along with wrapped Ethereum, wrapped Bitcoin, USDC on Polygon and shielded by default Zcash, Firo and Z Classic and Dash. He finishes by saying, Decred Dex's integrated multi-wallet is stoking a version one release. Are you ready? USDC on Polygon will be important as the fees are much lower than Ethereum and the confirmation time is faster. DCR Dex has already integrated Polygon support and it's in the final stages of being added. Some initial arbitrage bot UI screenshots with Binance have surfaced. Buck also says they'll be adding support for Coinbase and Kraken. For DCRD, Decred's full node implementation, there were some developer and internal changes, including consolidated shutdown code to reduce the amount of long run and go routines, improved handling of peer data in the sync manager to simplify the code, and some other backend fixes. On Matrix, DCRD developer Dave Collins lists the various things they've improved in DCRD compared to Bitcoin's full node, notably a 50 times improvement to sync time. For DCR wallet optimized initial chain sync time and memory use, there is a reduction of the overall sync time of about 50 seconds. For Decrediton, Decred's GUI wallet, fixed Trezor build failure caused by a change in the Trezor Connect library. DCR Cedar is a crawler that maintains a list of reliable Decred nodes and helps new nodes to discover their first peers. Improved handling of shutdown signals sent by the operating systems and added logging so it is clear why the process is shutting down and added support for a single instance of DCR Cedar to crawl mainnet and testnet simultaneously. GoMiner, which is Decred's Blake 3 proof-of-work mining software, was updated to support pool mining via the Stratum protocol. DCR Pool is server software for running a Decred mining pool. Improvements include optimizing data sent to the miner's field, limiting the maximum block generation time to the target block time for each network, and modified the pool to work with Blake 3 as now required by the Decred network. Also fixed a bug where the pool was not correctly tracking the blocks it mined. CryptoPower is a multi-coin desktop GUI wallet for DCR, BTC, and LTC. For the new overview page, implemented display of exchange rates from Binance, added recent transactions and recent staking activity across all wallets, 
for the mobile wallets, added bottom navigation buttons, which replace top level tabs on mobile, added mobile layout for the overview page, for DEX integration, added more DEX onboarding steps like server selection and posting bonds, added an indicator of total USD value for all assets combined, implemented a send module which can be accessed from any page via the top bar, implemented app onboarding info pages, and allowed the user to create a new wallet from the create order page, implemented new onboarding layouts in the trading tab, and there are also a number of fixes to prevent crashes. For Bison Relay, which is Decrypt's peer-to-peer -peer communications protocol, the first test messages had been completed on Android. The sync took about 10 minutes and used about 10 to 15% of the phone's battery. A fresh Bison Relay install on Android was reported to be around one gigabyte. The VSP List API now exposes missed and expired ticket counts separately, which allows us to more accurately evaluate them. Now let's talk Decred community. Decred holders can now buy prepaid Visa cards anonymously using Trocador. I personally tested this out and it worked by purchasing something online. The card can be added to Google, Apple, or Samsung Pay. Many community members have asked about exchange listings, especially US exchanges, and why Decred just doesn't pay to be listed. The truth is, US exchanges do not have listing fees. You cannot just pay to get on. An example of this is the automated email I received from Kraken. Jay-Z says he applied to Kraken three different times and that Coinbase asked DCR to do their Rosetta integration, which we did, and then they ghosted us. Most exchanges are interested in trading volume and listing whatever project they've invested in beforehand, or whatever ERC-20 token is the flavor of the month. Of course, we should all do what we can to try to get listed on these exchanges, but I'm just trying to highlight you can't just pay a fee. Phoenix Green also had some new videos. Decred is a layer one decentralized autonomous organization that facilitates a protocol to peer work paradigm. Decred is a permissionless work environment, meaning anyone can turn up and start participating. More often than not, this is the best option for getting involved. Decred's DAO is constructed around three core pieces of infrastructure. Politea, which is Decred's proposal system where individuals and groups engage with stakeholders to bid for paid work. CMS, which is Decred's contractor platform where contractors produce and submit invoices for the proposals they're working on and Decred's treasury, which is where the money comes from to pay Decred contractors, because you are earning and holding sound money that is not being diluted by some arbitrary monetary policy. This is due to the 21 million maximum supply. In conclusion, in the current world of work, the money that you earn gets diluted before it even reaches your pocket. Being able to earn in a sound money cryptocurrency like Decred allows you the opportunity to grow your earnings alongside the productive output you give to the project. The Lightning Network enables blockchains like Decred to facilitate new peer-to-peer -peer use cases like social media, tipping, messaging, file sharing, and marketplaces without adding undesirable bloat. Why did Decred choose the Lightning Network to scale? Although Decred handles on-chain transactions very efficiently and is a long way from having full blocks, if and when the network gets popular, it will face similar issues to the majority of blockchains, congested blocks with high fees. Decred is building a digital ecosystem with a wide array of user experiences and use cases, like Bison Relay. These kinds of user experiences can't be built on chain, as there is a need to process high volumes of transactions, thousands per second, most of which are microtransactions. In its current state of development, the Lightning Network is already capable of processing thousands of transactions every second. Without the Lightning Network, a one atom transaction would cost more than a thousand atoms in fees. On the Lightning Network, this same transaction can be achieved at the cost of one atom and processed almost instantly. In conclusion, and in my opinion, Layer 2 solutions offer a lot of hope for the future and are probably our best opportunity to remain true to a peer-to-peer -peer economy. And now let's look at network stats. Current Decred ticket price is 236 Decred per ticket. The reward for staking, which is self-custodial, is around 7% per year, and 62.5% of the circulating supply is staked. The Decred Treasury, which is self-funded by Decred's own block reward, is worth 12.7 million US dollars. There is a total coin supply of 15,678,000 Decred, and 62% of the circulating supply is mixed. The hash rate is around 5 theta hashes. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.